Welcome back, everybody. I've got a new hat, everybody. Yeah, switching up my hat game. Uh, just getting a little bit sick of seeing the back of my head, uh, my appalling hairstyle, uh, and my ears uh, in the video. So yeah, new hat, switching it up. Today is hopefully going to be the day when we get at least one of Oscar's eyes done. That's kind of the plan. Yeah, so ready to go, really. Just, uh, just gonna have some dinner, first of all, I think. Mm, feed my belly, and then uh, just try and get a solid couple of hours in, and uh, try and get uh, at least one eye, if not two eyes, done by the end of the day. Uh, yeah. It's dragging on a little bit, isn't it? it? Takes a while. That's kind of what I wanted to get across. Really, is how long this takes me. Mainly because I'm not painting every single day because I've got to go to work. Uh, so I'm really just kind of doing this seriously one day a week. I'm kind of stretching it out over two, but I do a couple of hours on a Saturday and a couple of hours on a Sunday. So it's not like I'm working from sort of six in the morning till ten o'clock at night. Uh, just can't do that. Got loads of other stuff to do. Um, just like being a person and being alive. Um, unfortunately, I can't just paint all day, every day, even though that is what I would love to do. Anyway, uh, hopefully, maybe at some point in the future, that is what I will do. But for now, uh, I just got to go at this slow pace. So, yeah. Uh, we're about three weeks into this kind of painting, like I say, most weekends, and uh, still got a fair way to go. So it's going to be a good few episodes yet, and hopefully you will stick with me for that. Anyway, that's the plan for today. I'm just going to crack on. I've got my two cameras set up, um, iPads ready. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for it. Pop. So yeah, I find it really difficult to sort of tell you what I'm doing. It's not something that I really know myself most of the time, so it's really difficult for me to pass on this knowledge to other people. Um, when you paint using like a acrylic paint or say like a watercolor or an oil paint, you can be pretty consistent with what you do. So when you pick up the paint um, and you apply the paint with a brush, it's it's kind of down to you to control how it comes out on the canvas. With a spray can, there's no consistency because you, it's impossible to, to put the exact amount of pressure on every single time that you paint. And the amount of pressure that you put on the cap determines how the paint comes out of the cap. So it's, it's kind of tricky because I don't know what it's gonna come out like until it comes out. I mean, most of the time it comes out the way that I want it to, but sometimes I just have no control over it. And that's the frustrating thing with spray paint that I don't think you would get if I was say using watercolors or acrylics on brushes. Um, you have a little bit more control over things. On this bit here, I really needed to just put the teeny tiniest amount of blue into the reflection in the eye. And um, although I'd shaken the can right up, it still comes out, like I said before, bitty and spitty. The way that I do things is by cutting back. So, you know, that's the kind of technique that I learned from painting letters on walls um, and I use the same uh, technique here it's kind of you know spraying roughly first of all and then cutting back in with finer lines uh, later on and the beauty of spray paint is that if you paint like white uh, you can go over it with black and then you can go over it with white again and it's 
it's pretty sort of um, you know it covers really well which the same can't be said for a lot of um, sort of acrylic paints or, or watercolor paints so that's a really major uh, plus uh, advantage but like I say downside is that every literally every time I kind of I approach that canvas with the can I don't know how it's going to come out um, and I just um, I get lucky sometimes I guess because yeah it, 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 it seems to work most of the time I was actually quite surprised how quickly I've managed to get this eye done um, what you're watching is like an afternoon's work um, so about sort of two or three hours uh, I got the eye done really in the first hour the rest of the time was painting um, the hair on the face on the bit below the eye down towards the mouth that's the bit that took the most time um, so yeah I usually find that sort of features um, are really easy to, to really easy and quickly to knock out it's just basically everything else that takes the time and the effort when I'm looking at the picture I'm trying to see the colors that are underneath the colors so that I have a vague idea of what colors to lay down first um, like I might have said before I don't like painting directly onto a white canvas um, particularly if you're using a lighter color because it's just really difficult to see where it's going down whereas if you're starting from a, a darker base color then it's a it's a lot easier to see what you're doing so I kind of have to do everything two or three times um, it's not just a case of painting like this area black and this area kind of brown and this area orange there's usually sort of two or three other colors that go underneath it before I can get to that sort of finishing stage so I've covered up the eye again with the polythene I still need to be really careful because the spray leaves a fine mist of whatever color that you're using in the sort of surrounding areas so you have to be careful that you don't end up getting a line that's left by the line of the, pot of the polythene if that makes sense so I'm trying to keep it just sort of up out of the way but at the same time uh, trying to keep most of the eye covered because I don't want to have to go back and do it again you need to persevere quite a lot you need a hell of a lot of patience to do this um, it's so time consuming it's so fiddly um, yeah basically it it does take most of my patience um, to, to do this <laughs> um, not saying that I'm you know short-tempered the rest of the time but um, but yeah it takes it takes a, a lot out of me uh, a lot goes into it. So let's do the big reveal. Let's get rid of this polythene and pray that we haven't got any weird uh, light lines. Where the no, we haven't. Excellent. Looking good.